Hello everyone, I'm Alex Bavolsik from HowToDoTech.com and today I'm going to be showing you the different personalization options available in Windows 8.1. Now for this I will be using the Windows 8.1 preview so if you do have the preview that's very nice this will be exactly the same however the final release might have a couple new features we really don't know yet. So one of the first things you'll notice is the lock screen. Now I purposely did the intro to this tutorial on the lock screen because this is one of the huge customization features that you can change. Now the lock screen used to be one picture or a choice of two. If you someone was logged in or locked the screen, it would be a picture they chose. If not, you would have that default picture of, I believe it was Seattle, which really wasn't my favorite and it wasn't changeable if you had multiple users on the um PC and not one of them was logged in. Luckily in Windows 8.1 you do have a slideshow of different pictures that you can choose from on your PC or in SkyDrive. These are actually from SkyDrive and most of these are high resolution. Now they are all showing full screen right now because of that high resolution but what you might notice soon is that there will be split screen pictures. I believe about five and one display there could be more depending on the size of the pictures one of the cool things about this slideshow is it's not going to stretch your pictures to fit the entire screen if you have smaller sized pictures it will just show more in one screen that way it doesn't get pixelated it still looks nice and you might get something along the lines of this another thing you might want to notice is even though I haven't customized it right now you can customize the bottom left with more than just a large time a large day and then small icons you could also have large icons like large alarms or large weather and we'll get to that later now in this tutorial we're basically going to be talking about the windows 8 start screen and then this lock screen now there are more personalization options such as the screensaver and the desktop image but that is the same as windows 8 as far as we know so if you'd like to learn more about that we do have a video about that on our youtube channel so without further ado, let's continue. One of the first things I would like to mention is the fact that the changing of your picture, your profile picture, has been moved from PC settings to right up top. So if I click my name, I can choose right here to change my account picture. Now I'm fine with mine, so I'm not going to do that for now. I just thought I'd mention that because that was one of the big personalization options in Windows 8. And since it wasn't in PC settings, you might not have noticed that it was moved right up to the top. Now from here, let's talk about personalizing the start screen. As you can see, a lot has changed in the start screen. I now have different tile sizes, but something you might notice even more is my wallpaper is actually a wallpaper and not just an image. So the tile sizes will be part of our customizing the start screen video. Um, certainly check that out. It'll be on the YouTube channel, but for right now, let's talk about the look. So to personalize your start menu, this is going to be a little different than the past. You're going to want to go down to the bottom right charms bar and go down to settings. From here you can go up to personalize. Now the pane is different, it's actually a pane now instead of being part of the PC settings and this is much much more customizable than before. First of all we now have different updates and by updates I mean to the background wallpaper. We can do a plain one or we can do ones that move. So if I choose this theme right here um, one of the bugs of Windows 8.1 Preview is it's just going to show me a solid color, but if I were to go to the desktop and then back to the start menu, it updates for you. So if you are using Windows 8.1 Preview, there's a little side note for you that will probably be fixed in future versions of the preview, and especially in the pro version. So if I scroll now to the left or right, you can see the background scrolls with me, and that's really nice. And if I hit the down arrow to go to apps, it disappears for me. Um, some of them, like the Red Dragon, always displayed by Microsoft, actually show up in that apps view, so that's pretty cool as well. Now, obviously there are tons of different personalization options if I bring Personalize back up. I have different pictures all over the place, but the one that I find to be the best is actually the plainest, and that is the wallpaper. I guess it's the second plainest to a solid color. But the wallpaper is going to be whatever your desktop wallpaper is, and since mine is set to be changing through different forests like this one, it will be changing along with my desktop. Now, something that's really cool about this is it will look at the theme and choose the Windows color. So my Windows color in this theme is this type of color right here. So Windows is actually going to personalize my 
color of the start menu and settings, see this gray under the background and accent color with a darker gray and a lighter gray. So I thought that was pretty cool and that was a nice touch that was added in just so that everything looks like it works together. Now obviously I could change that to a version of yellow, red, blue, or something or other, but this color does go well nicely and that's probably because it was the Windows color chosen up by the people who made the theme. So overall, these are going to be the personalization options for the look of your start menu. We're now going to go into the lock screen. So now let's take a look at customizing the lock screen. Now let me say in advance, I apologize if my screen starts to flicker. Um, the GPU of my MacBook Air really isn't working well with running a virtual machine and screen flow at the same time. So this might be a little buggy at times. So all I've done is open up the PC settings. Now you can either do that from the charms bar or from the actual PC settings available in the app section. And it's going to bring you to this top settings menu. Now this is really simple to navigate. You can go straight to the lock screen right from there, just clicking it. Now you do have the background that you have selected in the past. Now normally it's one of these defaults. I do have a custom one. But if you scroll down to slideshow, you can turn this on by hitting play slideshow. And then we have pictures. Now, I might not want this uh, folder that holds wallpapers, so if I just click on it, I can remove it right here. I can also add another folder just by selecting this, and it's going to go to SkyDrive by default, but if we hit this arrow, I can choose the PC, the home group, network, or stay in SkyDrive. So I'm going to keep this folder, but I'm also going to go to this PC, and I'll go to Pictures and Camera Roll, but there's nothing... I'll just choose the folder anyways. And then I can hit OK. It shows me at the bottom left the folders that I have already selected. So now I have the camera roll and the favorite wallpaper. So if I take a picture using my camera, it'll show up on the slideshow as well as these wallpapers. Maybe I don't want camera roll. I just have to click it and hit remove. And then it's gone like that. Now I can also let Windows choose the pictures for my slideshow. I can do power saver adjustments and now we can go to lock screen apps now by default you have these wonderful choices right here but most likely windows 8.1 the final version will allow more and if any third-party developers will develop their apps with lock screen apps they will be accessible as well we can also choose a detailed status such as the weather which i have chosen or an app to show alarms, which is going to be alarms because that's the only alarm app I happen to have at the time. You can also choose to allow the camera on from the lock screen. I don't know if you find that important. If you're using a tablet, you might want that, but with a PC, it might not be as important. So you have the choice right there to turn that on or off. So now for the final step in personalizing Windows 8, it's going to be done in the desktop. Now in the desktop mode, you can just go right down your charms, Go to settings and personalization. From here we can do the same thing that we've done in Windows 8 and Windows 7. We can choose a desktop wallpaper, a Windows color, the sounds, and a screensaver. Now the screensaver is going to be universal as well as the sounds. The window color you choose will be your Windows 8 interface metro interface color if you choose the desktop background. And the desktop background could be shown on your start menu if you chose that option. So we hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Let's just go over everything that we went through. We have just changed the Windows uh, desktop interface. We have went to the start menu. We have been able to change the background on this to either the Windows desktop wallpaper or a movable wallpaper. We also have customized the lock screen with a photo slideshow, as we'll see in a minute, with a larger weather app right next to the time, as well as a date, smaller apps beneath that. And if you have any questions about personalizing anything else in Windows 8.1, please leave them down in the comments below or email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. If you have any suggestions for future videos, do the same. Also, hit that like button. Show us you enjoyed this. It really does help out. And if you'd like to be notified about any future videos, you can hit that subscribe button. Also now, we have, also now we have the photo wall right up there. You can click on one of these categories to be brought to our playlist about those tutorials. We have things like Android and iOS. Check out quick tips for little tips that are about a minute each, a little bit longer, a minute to two minutes, and um, they can be very helpful. So I am Alex Bavalsic, and I will see you 
next time.